many years in Merriman. I did. And I did. I've been trying to come back for a year. Oh, year. good, because we need the business. You know, okay. gasoline I'm, I'm prices have, have, have nipped a little bit of our, of our been, patronage. Could have been, it could have been either. Yeah, we, and we're going around the world again this year. Ah, that's good. Yeah. Well, After a career in a private, uber successful project, yeah. how do you make a decision to come here? Oh, you're going to make me cry. <laughs> It's wonderful. Well, you know, I just like to keep active, and I like to keep my brain active. And after 17 years there, it was really hard to leave all my friends and my family there. But I felt that if I gave myself a really hard job, something that would just make me learn and learn and learn for the next 10 years, that I would really be doing myself a favor. Plus, cooking gave me a great life. And, you know, if... if if half of my students go forward and are really work hard and are successful in this business, they'll have a really good life too. They'll work with friendly people in a almost in a party situation because you know it's a very outgoing, fun thing. You know, you're always working with the public and it affords you your home, some travel, good friends, friends for life. I have friends all over the world. I get emails from, oh, I just heard from this guy. Oh, I just heard from that guy. One of my, one of my uh, colleagues is running a, a, as executive chef of a five-star restaurant and a hotel in Phuket. And I thought, oh, good. Well, next time I'm in Thailand, I'll get to I'll get to see him as well. You know, not only would I be loving to see him, I love to see his success, and I like to see all my students' success. What's it been like working with the Oh, well, it's, it's really interesting. You know, I, um, right now I don't have anybody of that age in my family that lives here. And it's just really been an enjoyable thing. You know, surprisingly, we can work to the same beat. <laughs> and I, 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 I never heard anybody call me an old bat yet. <laughs> And, and, and oh, well, you know what? That room is exciting because everybody gets to, they get to cook things that they never would have thought existed in the world. And so when they go out to, the, to their, their next restaurant and their next restaurant, they'll bring some sophistication that they didn't have last, you know, as, as last Christmas. They'll know what saffron tastes like. And they'll know how to cook that rice pilaf and, and Oh gosh, we just finished, uh, we, we just knocked off Morocco. We did some New England food. Um, and uh, we're headed to Mexico tomorrow. Brazil right, after right. that. I hear you should be careful about drinking the water. Oh gosh, you know what? <laughs> I never have a problem with that. <laughs> okay.